Hey guys, here at the beautiful Phoenician Resort in Scottsdale, Arizona. I uh, saw that they had some of those Waymo self-driving vehicles out front and I thought this might be a good opportunity to uh, give one a spin and see what the experience is like. So if you haven't heard of Waymo, they are a self-driving technology company that operates under Alphabet uh, Inc., Google's parent company, and they uh, have a goal to develop fully autonomous vehicles capable of navigating safely without human intervention. Um, they've conducted a bunch of testing here in the Phoenix area as well as San Francisco. So the first thing I noticed when I opened the app was there, it actually shows you when the car is stopped at a stoplight and when it's, uh, the light turns green, it changes kind of in real time so you know where the car is and what it's doing at any given moment. Now we did run into an issue here where um, it showed two minutes left uh, on the trip and then when it got to the entrance for the Phoenician, it kind of didn't know what to do and you can see here it, it turns left at, at this uh, at this fork and um, and then adds another seven minutes to the trip now it actually did this three or four times before we got a golf cart ride down to the actual location and saw that there was some construction going on and this is why it wasn't able to make that turn was because it actually wanted you to go um, on the other side of the street so I was able to move the pin in the app to a spot where the Waymo could um, safely pull over. Uh, and then as you approach the car on the Velodyne, the light, LiDAR sensor that you see spinning here on the top, um, it will show your initials. So um, you can't see it on the, the, the uh, video, but when you're in person, you can see your name pop up on the top. You can hit unlock from the app and then the door handles will pop out and then you can access the vehicle. Um, once you're inside, I believe you have to have your seatbelt connected and then you have the option to start the ride um, several ways, either directly through your app, you can touch the large uh, start ride button here on the front display, uh, or um, if you're in the back of the uh, back of the car, there's a rear display with the same start ride button. We'll go ahead and hit start ride and um, once you hit that, uh, the car will start driving on its own. You can see the steering wheel kind of moving. It gives you some some riding tips on the, the screen, uh, as well as some safety precaution warnings like don't touch the hand, the steering wheel, uh, or the pedals. I suppose you could potentially sit in the driver's seat if you really wanted to, as long as you don't interfere with any of the controls. Um, and it's on its way to the destination. So having a Tesla, you know, being a Tesla owner and having self-driving capabilities uh, made this a little bit easier to be in in the car, but not being directly in front of the steering wheel and having the ability to take over if needed was definitely um, a little bit of a new feeling here. So yeah, you do wonder, uh, I mean, although I felt safe in the car, you do wonder if at any point it might just kind of do something unexpected. For example, um, you know, while we're driving down the street here, the windshield wipers just automatically turned on out of the blue. Um, on a perfectly sunny day so you never know when something unexpected might actually happen and you hope it's not it's something as small as the windshield wipers and not something um, as big as driving into oncoming traffic so here's the first uh, turn we made it's a left-handed turn from oncoming traffic uh, you can see it goes out to the right a little bit wide to make make it into the left lane uh, and then it speeds up quite a bit um, so it gets up to about 40 miles an hour relatively quickly um, and then just kind of cruises from there. The rear seats um, have a, uh, a display in them. It's got two chargers. They look at USB-C chargers uh, at the bottom and then um, a console there to control music uh, and temperature. You can also uh, reach support from here as well. Similarly, the front display has quite a bit uh, of touchscreen abilities um, for music, for the map, for temperature. Um, there's some riding tips, a video that will play. It also plays in the beginning of the ride. You can look at the camera privacy, um, a little bit of details on the car. I think all of these uh, Waymos use the Jaguar I-Pace, uh, maybe mistaken there, um, but I think, I think they all use um, Jaguars as their platform. Um, you can control volume regularly, you can control the temperature through here, um, you can look at what song is being played uh, by clicking on music and um, changing to a different song if you want from here. 
uh, as well as just the general map view always displays so that you know when you'll arrive at your location. There's also a button in the bottom left there that says pull over. So if there was any type of emergency, you can click the pull over button and the car will immediately pull over. So here's a right hand turn into oncoming traffic. Um, it hugs the corner here and then immediately looks to get into the far left lane um, and accelerates as well. Um, until it gets into the, the far left lane. So we're making the turn here now to uh, the drop-off point. Um, there was an incident right there where we were in the turn lane and there was a driver uh, facing us, also trying to turn the opposite direction, um, and the car did not know what to do at that point. So we are kind of at a stalemate until somebody made a move, um, which it was waiting for the physical driver to make a move, so that was a little awkward. Um, for a moment, um, but once it, it finds a spot to pull over, uh, it, it kind of wraps up the ride and you um, can exit out the car and, and end the trip on the app. So all in all, it was a pretty safe, pretty easy ride. Um, they have a, uh, uh, um, a promotion going where it's only $5 uh, during the day, so it was definitely worth the ride in terms of the cost, um, but not sure if I would, you know, there's a little bit of bugs to still be worked out. Not sure I'd do this uh, every time I needed a, a car.